Hi, once again. Um, today we're going to talk about attitude and the positive and the negative. <laughs> so the title is Watch Your Attitude. It is everything. And I'll explain why and what it's about because you might notice when you start to take this to heart how you can actually change the way you live your life. It could be that profound, yes. So, welcome to my little chat. Um, I do these every, every so often, so I'll see more about where you find the replays later on. Um, and I do invite your comments, questions along the way if you have anything that comes up. So diving right in, let me reference a couple of things first. There's a lot of people, um, <laughs> already I'm starting to think how I can say this in a nice way. <laughs> Attitude really is everything. I've been sitting with a quote, or a, I should say a paraphrase, of a quote from Viktor Frankl from Man's Search for Meaning, a book he wrote many, many years ago. He was in, he survived the um, prison camps, concentration camps in the Second World War. And he said something on the lines of, when everything else has been taken from you, the one thing you have left is your attitude. And he meant that basically your perspective on how you are experiencing life can change everything. Because if you've got everything stripped from you, you can feel like the worst case in the world, you can feel upset, distressed, sad, everything else. Yet, if you can change your inner attitude, your perspective shifts. And I know for some people this is a challenge to face, but also other people I know have found, and I have personally found great freedom in opening up to a different attitude, a different perspective, a different um, response to what's happening around us. This is very relevant right now, as you may be experiencing the same experience, the, the similar experience I'm going through, which is the lockdown, um, I should say, the lockdown versus freedom debate, <laughs> big debate, and the idea about taking care of each other or not taking care of each other or thinking it's all gonna be fine. There's a lot of attitudes playing out for and against people, many different places. Um, and I'm just speaking more about America because that's, that's where I see the news and watch what's happening and see stuff on social media. So I'm wondering what's been happening. Other parts of the world, different, some the same, not getting into the different locations. But what I'm aware of is there's a difference among people. There is a, um, I was going to say dividing line, not really why we're saying it. But people are taking sides, to put it that way. And I'm noticing also how this interesting viewpoints and perspectives and attitudes is not necessarily along party lines, just to make that even more or less political. There's a distinct um, it's not, I guess I can use the word against this, but I won't find a better word. There's a distinct separation, a distinct combative, combativeness, that's a good word, combativeness between people who are on one side of the fence are people are saying it's okay to be in lockdown because by protecting themselves they protect other people, especially if you have elderly friends or you're somebody who's health challenged yourself, you might feel overly cautious and want to be protective. There are other people who are going, we need to get back to work and, make, and, and have business open up again and, and be free to do whatever we want. And there's this chasm in between the two. And part of it is because the attitudes are so polar opposite, so polarized, say polar opposites, polarized, which is one of the challenges. And if you're in a position where you're finding yourself meeting other people who have a different attitude to you, different perspective, different belief, different, different um, perspective, that's not really the right word, judging differently, I'll say it that way, you might discover yourself, might find yourself in a place where you feel um, that your attitude is against them, that you want to basically push away from them, avoid them, leave them alone. And in some cases, that's a good idea for your own health. But what I want to speak to more about that is your own inner experience. Because if you start feeling your attitude um, being oh, what's the word? There's another word coming through. Debilitating? As in you feel depressed, you feel sad, you feel frustrated. You're actually putting a lot of pressure onto your own immune system and your own um, internal road, um, landscape, so to speak. Because attitude is very impactful, and we'll speak to this as a separate piece now. Having a negative attitude to other people or to yourself is actually depleting your own well-being. It's, it actually depletes your own ability to function because what it does is it limits your ability to have energy to express. When you're in a place of um, judgment, <laughs> that wonderful thing, which all of our attitudes ties to judgment, you're depleting your own energy. 
So one thing about attitude is you want to be very clear about what you're choosing because you may not realize that you are in fact choosing your attitude because a lot of people don't realize that they have choice over that. They in fact feel like that their attitude is just because of the way it is. This is right, this is wrong, this is what I'm going to believe. I did a Facebook Live in this group on my, on my page rather two days ago, three days ago, talking about you know when you're right, how you can be, how you can lose by being right. This is the same sort of thing, but a different layer, which is really about attitude is everything. Meaning that internally navigating and internally setting your own barometer, there's a good word, a barometer for your attitude can add or subtract from your own health and well-being. So it's in, I believe it's important to be aware of your attitude because again, sometimes it's unconscious. Sometimes your attitude, you don't notice until three days later, you've been carrying this grudge against other people. Or you've been feeling like a victim for the last four days. These are attitudes where you may not even be aware because they're default, automatic, not even conscious of, you're, you're not even conscious aware of choosing them. They may go on for a few or a while before you become aware of them. And this is a challenge because when you let that stuff play out without being aware of it, you're actually doing harm to your system. Again, immunity, your own ability to feel good, your own energetic balance is knocked out of whack by having attitudes that are limiting or negative or argumentative or arrogant or I can give you a whole list. My recommendation is to put focus on your attitude and to put something in there that you may not expect, which is joy. Yeah, this is not left field, I know. But this is something I've been aware of lately from myself. For the last 10 days or so, it's been much, it's been more of a present focus because it was uh, it was actually Sunday before last when Reverend Michael Ligapi, who's one of my teachers, talked about how levity was a theme to, pra to practice, to work on. Levity being upliftment, joy, happiness. And what I've been noticing through lots of things that have happened the last 10 days, including my um, first ever uh, sourdough bread loaf that I baked. It was a little bit flat. It was not, not it didn't come out the way I wanted. But I actually laughed about it right at the get-go. It wasn't like I had to think about, I need to laugh at this because it's funny. No, it was just automatic because I was in a place of joy. This was all a grand experiment. It was fun. It was uplifting. It was entertaining. And frankly, I felt good. And it's an external expression does affect your internal um, emotional feeling. So attitude is everything. If you find yourself navigating towards joy, you'll notice your life feels better. Things around you work more smoothly. Life happens in a more graceful way. That's profound, but also so easy. Because all you're doing is moving the moving that needle from negative to positive internally. Nothing out there is changing. It may seem like it does, but everything happens inside. That's the power of your attitude. It is everything, as I said. So if you are in a place where your life or where you're experiencing or your relationships or your work or whatever it is, is challenging to you, Practice shifting your own internal barometer, that, that, that adjustment inside, to move yourself up the scale, so to speak, from negative to positive. Consider for yourself how your attitude may not be as positive as it could be, so how can you make it, how can you raise it up a bit? How can you amplify the joy, amplify the good, amplify the positive? This is something I often recommend to you do as homework. Yes, I do give out homework quite often, actually. Is during your day, notice what you have fun with and is easy and what is challenging and hard. Focus on bringing joy and upliftment to those things that are negative and hard and see what happens. Nothing may happen and, goes, and now it doesn't cost you anything, but nothing may happen at all. But what you may notice is everything shifts. One thing also to be aware of is watching your attitude during the day when it's positive or negative or on the spectrum. Notice how you feel inside at that same time because it's ties together. So if you can shift your own internal attitude Watch the outside experience shift, watch your emotional feelings uplift, and watch your life change. It is simple, when you remember, elegant, and very powerful. So attitude is everything. This part of the training that I'm offering is part of, and, and give me a little plug, by the way, I'm letting you know ahead of time I'm plugging this. My self-mastery mentorship includes a piece about this, actually it includes more than this, about how to navigate life through life so that you're actually finding yourself being self-guided and internally sourced versus externally reactive and out of control. I'm developing some new tools for it that I'm not dropping the group just yet. I've got a lot of work to do on it still. 
but also putting it into an assessment that really helps you navigate where you are in your life and where you want to go. I recommend you get in now before the price may go up again. I've already put it up once, it may go up again. Um, if you go to barryselby.com forward slash self mastery or one word, you can check it out. I'll put the link in the comments afterwards so you can check it out, have a look. Um, it is just started. I do have a bonus if you sign up for the year versus the month. It's a monthly membership or annual membership, your choice. And uh, it's going to be fun. I've got so many good things coming up that I'm learning again and referencing again and deepening in because I'm asking to what I'm going to put in the group. I'm asking myself from, let's just say, a wide, large um, experience I've had over the last 35 years of this journey in the personal growth work. My life, I've been old, I'm older than that. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. Um, but I wanted to, <laughs> to get clear that what, what's coming to this group is going to be pretty, pretty powerful. So you might want to be part of it. I'm not saying you will be, but you might want to be. I'm not going to push you on you. Push this on you. Anyway, check it out. Have a look. Link will be in the comments. And again, homework. How can you shift your own inner attitude, like just tweaking, adjusting slightly through all situations and see how you feel? Play with this. Because it is a chance to play. And again, joy and positivity are good things. Play is one of those keys. One of my, one of the other teachings that Michael talks about, Ron Michael talks about, is how play and pray are very similar, not just in spelling, but energetics. So play with this. It's a very prayerful activity without even doing the prayer. So with that, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being with me. Um, as again, I'll put the link in the comments and check out my self-mastery mentorship. It's just started. You can come join me. And uh, let me know in the comments how this works for you. If you have questions on this, let me know in the comments too. If you want to reach out, ask me for support, message me, me over social media. And uh, a reminder, as always, please take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Well, excuse me. I'll see you again another day. Not promising tomorrow. <laughs> I used to do them daily. Now they're more infrequent. Take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. There it is. <laughs>